The male northern cardinal is perhaps responsible for getting more people to open up a field guide than any other bird. They're a perfect combination of familiarity, conspicuousness, and style, a shade of red you can't take your eyes off. Even the brown females sport a sharp crest and warm red accents. Cardinals don't migrate and they don't molt into a dull plumage, so they're still breathtaking in winter's snowy backyards. In summer, their sweet whistles are one of the first sounds of the morning. Large, long-tailed songbird with a short, very thick bill and a prominent crest. Males are brilliant red with a black mask and throat. Large, crested songbird with a short, thick bill. Females are a pale brown overall with warm reddish tinges in the wings, tail, and crest. Juveniles are smiler to females but have a gray to black bill. Some birds lose all the feathers from their head at the same time, remaining bald until the feathers grow back. The Northern Cardinal is a fairly large, long-tailed songbird with a short, very thick bill and a prominent crest. Cardinals often sit with a hunched-over posture and with the tail pointed straight down. Northern Cardinals tend to sit low in shrubs and trees or forage on or near the ground, often in pairs. They are common at bird feeders but may be inconspicuous away from them, at least until you learn their loud, metallic chip note. Look for northern cardinals in inhabited areas such as backyards, parks, woodlets, and shrubby forest edges. Northern cardinals nest in dense tangles of shrubs and vines. A week or two before the female starts building, she starts to visit possible nest sites with the male following along. The pair call back and forth and hold nesting material in their bills as they assess each site. Nests tend to be wedged into a fork of small branches in a sapling, shrub, or vine tangle 1 to 15 feet high and hidden in dense foliage. They use many kinds of trees and shrubs, including dogwood, honeysuckle, hawthorn, grape, red cedar, spruce, pines, hemlock, rose bushes, blackberry brambles, elms, sugar maples, and box elders. Males sometimes bring nest material to the female who does most of the building. She crushes twigs with her beak until they're pliable, then turns in the nest to bend the twigs around her body and push them into a cup shape with her feet. The cup has four layers, coarse twigs, and sometimes bits of trash, covered in a leafy mat, then lined with grapevine bark and finally grasses, stems, rootlets, and pine needles. The nest typically takes three to nine days to build. The finished product is two to three inches tall, four inches across, with an inner diameter of about three inches. Cardinals usually don't use their nests more than once. Northern cardinals hop through low branches and forage on or near the ground. Cardinals commonly sing and preen from a high branch of a shrub. The distinctive crest can be raised and pointed when agitated or lowered and barely visible while resting. You typically see cardinals moving around in pairs during the breeding season, but in fall and winter they can form fairly large flocks of a dozen to several dozen birds. During foraging, young birds give way to adults and females tend to give way to males. Cardinals sometimes forage with other species, including dark-eyed juncos, white-throated sparrows, other sparrow species, tufted titmice, goldfinches, and pyroloxias. They fly somewhat reluctantly on their short, round wings, taking short trips between thickets while foraging. Pairs may stay together throughout winter, but up to 20% of pairs split up by the next season. We have reached the end of the video. If you want to listen to the singing sounds of the northern cardinal bird, you can listen after this section. See you later.